Uh, All right, guys, when you're ready. Uh, so our documentary is called The Sound of Silence, and the kind of main ideas of it, we want to see how like white bands are finding it difficult to break through in Cambridge, like being in the music scene. Ironically, because like comic comedians, like a lot of famous comedians have come out of Cambridge. However, like within the music scene, not that many. So we wanted to have a look at that. Uh, also, Cambridge was voted like the bottom three in like nights out in the UK. So we're going to look more into that and like go to some nightclubs and see what happens. And throughout the documentary, we're going to interview some band members and see what their uh, view is on it. Uh, so uh, product similar to ours is uh, Ben Montreal's Repec, which uh, uh, follows his life and how he struggled with mental health and stuff. And we feel that um, because he's such a big icon that um, he can show how music should be done properly. Um, So, um, we think our documentary would be worth watching because it's quite original. Personally, because it's a local, like, kind of music scene thing we're doing, we think that not, it's probably not really been done before. We've done some research and only found a couple that have been done before. Um, also, the bands we'd be following is a band called Submarine Racers. Quite an original band. We went to go see them in Portland Arms. And they were quite good, to be fair, so we were kind of looking to... Just get some interviews in with them. Uh, we also think it would be good because it's more of a fly on the wall type documentary. We want to interview them, but we also want to see what they're doing, what they're saying throughout the whole documentary experience. And as well, we'd be going to uh, nightclubs to look at how they're getting on in there as well. This is a test footage. Rank is kind of dying out. And everyone's going back to the roots again. Some are going back into country and some are going uh, back into basic blues. So many people have this opinion, like, I think Rock is dead. Uh, I can see where they're coming from because back in the day, in like the 60s and 70s and even early 80s, that um, rock was very much alive. Um, they obviously thought, yeah, because they're big bands like the Beatles, the Rolling Stones. We just don't get bands like that back nowadays, and I think it's because of the music business. Um, that uh, bands find it hard to come through and all these good bands get lost in the pack full of other bands. Um, that's my own opinion. Right now. So our documentary is going to be really practical for us to film anyway. Because obviously now I live in Cambridge, I only live a half hour bus journey away, it's pretty easy to get in. Because we're doing it on the local scene, we both know the area really well, so it'd be good, very practical. Both of us have a really strong interest in music, so as well as it being practical, it's like something we really care about, so put more effort into it, obviously. Um, also, we know a few locals in the area that we can probably speak to to make it like even better for our documentary. So we only really need to worry about uh, getting to venues and stuff um, with bus tickets and stuff like that. We may have to pay to get into gigs to film it, but we're hoping that we can speak to people and we could uh, get free like entrance. Um, some of the key locations we thought of the Portland Arms, as they've got a stage where they uh, where bands go. 
uh, Lolo Lows, Revs, you know, all these clubs that we can go to where people say they're not the best night out and we can kind of go see why why that's happening, what DJs are in there, what they're doing wrong, what they could be doing better. Um, also, the, the people I've already mentioned, the submarine races, the band we're going to follow. I've emailed quite a few bands to see. I've had a couple cold people come back and we might be able to uh, see what they're doing. So the target audience is uh, majority uh, music lovers, so young adults aged between like 16 and uh, 25, um, who enjoy going out and who enjoy having a good time. Do you feel like that would uh, relate to them the most? Yeah. Any questions? Any questions? Right. Let's pause it then.